Too many days in the darkness Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight We are Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. Welcome, welcome. The Selenite Collection. Okay. So this is our spring 2021 collection. <laughs> I just want to be fancy. Okay. It's like Paris. Okay. But in the catwalk right now, she is serving a dish okay, of selenite. Okay. So do check it out. It is lovely. It is healing. Well, more protective. Yeah. If you, you know, I like selenite. Okay. Very, very protective. I have to have in each part, corner of my, my home. Sal, I mean, how much protection you have? Well, we don't know. We better be safe. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of goods here. Okay. <laughs> You're looking at it. You're welcome. We're going to be using... I feel suffocated putting the boxes here, guys. Uh, to be honest, I don't like everything here that is around me because I need my space. Okay. But you know what? I need it here. <laughs> but the deck I'm using is available on my website. It is the Enchanted Blossom. Okay, so we're gonna do a reading, I mean, actual reading here. Okay, and then we're gonna be using Tarot, another oracle. So let's see what's going on for my Pisces. Okay. There's two sentences here that we have to work on. Okay, so let's see. Aspiration, mountain pink, large orange sulfur. So that's that. Now let me see what is aspiration. Aspiration. <laughs> okay. As yeah. I can never finish school. Look at me laughing at aspiration. Okay. Oh, only one question. Who do I aspire oh, to? Okay. Who do I aspire to be? Why, Miss Venezuela? You have three minutes on the clock. <laughs> okay. So. Um, it feels like a Miss Universe question. So who and why? Okay, what do you want to become of you? Oh, that's a big question, you know. If it was me, thank you for your question. To everyone, the judges, and everybody who's here. Can you repeat, please? <laughs> I'm kidding, because that always happened in the past. You know, the momentum. I salute the, all those uh, pageantries. <laughs> You guys, okay. So who do you aspire and what do you aspire? Um, if it was really a question for me, I just want to be a better version. <laughs> it's like an Apple, an OS. No, I don't think, um, you know, like you have to dream of something there. I feel like we have to look first here. And then <laughs> this is really like a pageant question. I cannot get out of it. Okay. Um, it feels like to be a human is what we need to aspire. Yes. <laughs> I can't. I still have a No, like, you know, to be a human to another human, to be caring, to be loving to everybody. Yes, right? That, you know, it's not about like, oh, actor, actress, singer, whatever, writer, um, you know, YouTuber or whatever that you want to be. That's okay. That's part of it. But we forget sometimes, you know, like another human needs another human. You know, I have a very, very, very soft heart to people who are in need. See, that's why I don't want to be human much. Because I'm very, very like, oh no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Okay, so ask yourself, and why? Okay, I feel like, you know, the world needs more humans, more souls. Humans with souls, you know. My product has souls. Can you get it? Thank you. <laughs> it's so strange. Okay, it has spirit inside it. Mm -hmm. It's vibration and frequency. Okay, so right now you're saying here, I am here, I am present, and I want to be loved, and I am loved. Okay, you're constantly trying to manifest, traveling, spiritual connection that you are trying to work on. Okay, you've been working with crystals. Okay, not the one from Breaking Bad. That's a different crystal. Okay. Okay. 
That's called uh, not Mary Jane. What's it called? Um, Glass. <laughs> <laughs> Been watching Breaking Bad too much. Okay, rest and rejuvenation. So you might you might benefit from if you have crystals at your place. You know, try to do some sort of like putting it in certain chakra points that might help you. Um, you are gonna be traveling soon, but you're choosing where to travel because there's a decision where you wanna be in the world. So it might be a relocation. Someone might fall in love with you. Okay, during the time that you are in your spiritual journey. And it feels like journey and angel of strength. You're able to move on from everything that has caused so much delay in your life. Love it. So the Pisces is just being real right now. You are serving realness. Congratulations. But that weave, that better be Indian Remy. Okay. <laughs> if it's realness. Okay. Let's see. I have a friend. Um, her name is Shatima. And we always joke about her weave because mine is better. Just kidding. <laughs> I love Shatima. Mm -hmm. Here we go. She always talk about her Louis Vuitton Speedy. Oh. <laughs> How she got it though. <laughs> it's very, very... <laughs> I'm kidding. I should message her. Here we go. Um, seven of coins. Okay, three of cups. The moon. Oh no, the editor is going to have a nightmare. <laughs> Seven of coins. <laughs> um, this is all about waiting, okay, for things to turn around, three of cups, because you want to be emotionally fulfilled. A lot of people are having restless um, nests with regards to sleep, okay, four of swords with the moon card. I'm not sure what's going on with the planet sun, okay, because I myself, restless, I know I ate a donut before I go to bed, okay, and I said no, the sugar goes in, so I know mine, okay. <laughs> Four of Swords with the Moon card. You keep thinking about someone coming through with a judgment. Okay. So your dreams will start to make sense. Okay. Um, with the judgment, it feels like, um, you know, messages from your ancestors or guides are going to speak through your dreams. So be patient about this whole whoever this person is coming to you. If you want me to interpret your dreams, additional $2 when you exit. Thank you. No. <laughs> Here we go. Nine of coins. Uh -huh. Nine of coins, the ace of swords. So you're very single. Very single. <laughs> Ouch. But you're thriving. You're healthy. Your hair is bombing. Hello. Healthy hair, healthy karma. Bad hair. You expect the worst now. Okay. Because mm -hmm. our hair carries karma, right? That's why it's very, very important. Mm-hmm. That's why when you break up, you get a pixie, bad hair again. <laughs> no pixie. Okay. Um, so it feels like here, um, you're looking good. Okay. Expect a message. Ace of Swords. This is a visa application, passport, legal documents. This is success to you. But someone is ready to, to talk to you. Can be a Sag right here. Let me see what else I'm seeing. Uh huh. Um, it doesn't scream reconciliation. It's, it smells spiritual enlightenment. It starts with a temperance. You know, this is like practicing, you know, your spirituality. Okay. Let me see. Oh, and the Knight of Wands. So Sag. Okay. There's nothing going on with the Sag. I don't think so. Not even Aspect. There's nothing in Gemini. Meaning in 1-7 if it's a relationship. Okay. But, okay, of course, if you talk about other planets, Aspect, then there might be. Mm. But all I know is someone is here, um, can be a younger person who's going to be coming out to see you, okay, with a knight of wands. Now, the knight never stays, they say, but a horse, if you create a stable, they always come back. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> That's how you get a Sag. You make a stable, okay? You want a Pisces, you open a bar. I'm kidding. <laughs> No, sad. <laughs> no, Pisceans love dreamy kind of things, movies, chillax, very spiritual liberation kind of thing, you know, tantra. <laughs> spiritual. Not, you know, Western made it it's about sex. It's not about sex. Okay. <laughs> um, with the temperance over here, um, there will be a spiritual connection that's going to be manifesting into, I feel like, a loving home. Ten of Cups. Isn't it good when you guys are both spiritually connected and in line, aligned, basically? Okay, this is Mars in Pisces. Okay, I wonder how that works. 
Uh, okay. Mars and Pisces. A lot of sex. Oh, can I say that? <laughs> Bed pleasures. But you would have nightmares if you don't, you know. Well, okay. <laughs> oh wait, this is Pisces reading. How is it if you have Mars and Pisces? Okay. In the first house. So, okay. Very fiery. Hangman over here. Um, you've been thinking about trying to... I feel like there's some sort of consolidation that you're doing with your life. Organizing things, organizing things, organizing things. Um, you wanna you wanna learn how to be better with the hangman over here to, you know, like in a relationship we all you know hopefully you know that's what we do is to learn from one and then you know the next one we change what we do. This is what you're doing. You're never gonna do what you used to do with the other one, okay? With the other one, yes, exactly. The devil. Mm -hmm. So before you keep allowing people to use you this is capricorn here um and it's i feel like it's more of just wham bam thank you ma'am mm -hmm, like that kind so you're not gonna do that anymore okay because you want real connection real love so you're done with that i mean we've all been there i was been i was there yesterday <laughs> we've all been promiscuous you know at some point in our life and yesterday was mine <laughs> It's a closed chapter of my life. Yesterday. I'll open it again tomorrow. <laughs> Seven of Wands. See, you're definitely saying I don't like, uh, you know, that kind of relationship where it's very abusive, toxic, and it's very carnal. Okay? So that's good. Because you want it to be involved, emotionally involved. Okay. High Priestess, you, you're done dealing with people who keep secrets towards you. And you just don't see yourself connecting with that kind of circle. Okay. Wow, you're going deep with your life here, Pisces. Okay. Oh, because Venus is in Gandanta, so you probably will um, resolve. Okay, karmic knots. Not anti ons pretzel knot. Okay. <laughs> Think of it where if it's a water sign, goes to a fire sign, right? So they say it's a uh, karmic knot. Spirit will not. That is being removed. So this is what you're going through, you know, especially if you are a Pisces Ascendant because you're removing it now. A spiritual connection is being severed with a judgment. Mm -hmm. It's happening today because Venus is now going to, um, from Revati um, in Pisces, going now to Ashwini, which is the start, okay? Very fiery um, energy, okay, which, when it starts. Uh, Ashwi is ruled by K2, so there will be separation, okay? <laughs> But with a star card, it is destiny's child. Okay, <laughs> the star card is destiny. What goes in aqua is Jupiter. It's also happening today. So you have the feminine and the masculine. Jupiter is your spouse, and feminine is Jupiter, right? So now you will meet someone new, foreign person. Chances are, if you do travel, because there is journey over here, you might meet this person. Mm -hmm. If you cannot travel right now, they'll travel to see you. Trust me, the universe has its ways, okay? Um, with a star card over here, I was in the mountain, okay? And yet, they come to me in the mountain because I was serving, okay? <laughs> with a star card over here, um, as Jupiter goes and moves to Aqua, it's going to retrograde there. Of course, 12th house is not a partnership house, but it is a pleasurable house for you. It is a spiritual house. It's a house of liberation. So you're being liberated from one connection, Pisces, that you're probably trying to figure out for the longest time. You're done. You're free. And you get uh, you get a new one. Ace of Swords with a star card. We'll see who's this person who's destined to be with you. I'll do more astrology in the extended. We'll see what goes there. Um, and if I can see more astrology. Because normally, I have to see... I haven't seen that today. The Wheel of Fortune. That's my indication of I need to see the, the stars. But the star card is also that. So you're manifesting someone. Okay. And divine timing is at work. So it's this is divine timing. Ooh, yeah. Well, I wonder what happened. Okay. Because normally, this is how I see it. When Venus lives a zodiac from one house to the next one, uh, you're going to get a gift. Okay. Normally, it's tangible. Hopefully, it's a human. Okay. <laughs> In a box. <laughs> ah, that's what it is. Okay. So, but I'll talk about it more later. Okay. So, get ready for something divine and something coming your way. Okay. I'll see you guys again. Pisces. Love you. Stay cute. Stay gorgeous. Say just be you. You're fine. Okay. And world peace. Okay. I'll see you guys again. Download my app, Eat Read Love. 
Um, and please give me a review on, on Apple or Android. It does help a small business like mine. Okay. <laughs> Watch me on Instagram. I was there. I was talking yesterday uh, in IG story. And I think that's it. Hopefully, you guys have, have picked up something good in this channel. Okay. Even though I laugh and I giggle a lot. That's me. Bye, guys. For this person, they're just waiting for the right one and they want to get engaged. This person travels. Six of Swords. Um, four...